today's daily data is about two new papers that used a similar study design to test whether or not poverty and changes in family structure affect how children behave. These results are interesting in their own right and provide new evidence on what does and does not cause crime. The way these studies worked was simple. The researchers followed families around for a few years and recorded how the children's behavior and their family's income and structure changed over time. Both studies were published in the journal Child Development. In the first study, researchers followed 75,000 children from birth to the age of three. They measured changes in family income and how anxious, withdrawn, and aggressive the children were. In the second study, researchers followed 4,000 children between the ages of three and 12 and recorded how their level of misbehavior, as measured on a scale that included measures of 28 different behavioral problems, changed over time as their family structure changed. In the first study, the researchers found that children became more aggressive, anxious, and withdrawn when their parents' income fell. In the second study, by contrast, it was found that most children did not exhibit an increase in any behavioral problems following their parents getting divorced. The only children who did were rich children. This is probably because rich parents are on average better parents and by definition richer than poor parents. So when rich kids lose a parent, they are losing more, both in terms of wealth and in terms of parenting quality than poor kids do when they lose a parent. This study is interesting in part because bad behavior as a child predicts criminal behavior as an adult. In the past, studies have shown that being poor and being from a single parent home predisposes children to grow up to be criminals. This new research suggests that there is a stronger case for poverty causing crime than there is for single parent homes causing crime. If you like this video and would like to see six new videos about six new studies each week, consider subscribing to Daily Data. And if you want to help our videos do better on YouTube's search engine, consider leaving a comment.